What is up guys, this is JJ Andrew of the Droid Syndicate team, and today I'm going to be going over the Cyanage Mod 10 Euroskank build for the Galaxy Nexus on Sprint. So this is a Jelly Bean based Cyanage Mod team ROM, and yeah, it looks pretty cool from using it so far. You definitely have a lot more tweaks than you would get out of just stock Jelly Bean, of course, as it being a Cyanage Mod build. But yeah, let's hop right into settings. We'll get to those toggles later. You can see here Android version 4.1.1. We got a little Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean there. And you can also see CM Team somewhere. Sign Mod version right there. Skank Tora Plus right there. And you got your normal statistics that you can enable for reporting. I better check that to help the developers. And yeah. So, right in settings, you actually do get interface, lock screen, and system. And those are pretty much where the tweaks come in. And also, if you go down, you also have advanced, and you also have performance. Now, let's go from top to bottom in lock screen. You can actually edit your screen security, and you've always been able to do that. But I'm pretty sure you do have some other options down here. Normally, you just get screen, screen security, but you actually do get some lock delays and additional options, such as quick unlock and delay screen lock. But if we go into screen lock, you can see that you have all these different options for a lock screen if you choose that. And you also have background, so you can edit your wallpaper for your lock screen. So let's say you don't want a the same lock, let's say you don't want the same wallpaper that's as your home screen on your lock screen. You can always have that be a custom image or you can just have it be default so that they're both the same. You can also edit owner info, so let's say we'll say CM10, and we'll just exit out of that, and then when you go here, it's going to say CM10 right there, and that's pretty cool as well. Go back into lock screen. You can also see that we have weather, so we can also enable weather right there. Turn this back on, you can see that we have the weather right there, but it isn't Celsius. Usually when I uncheck metric, it is still Celsius, so I don't know why it does that. You can see here, if we fiddle with this, still doesn't seem to make it Fahrenheit. Now, if you go into calendar, you can also display different events. So if you enable that, I don't really use my calendar. I don't really have many events going on, but you can actually have different locations and descriptions next to that. And you can also have it show only reminders. So if you don't want it to be all, pretty much all the events, you can just have reminders for it. Now if you go into slider shortcuts, you can basically edit these little uh, shortcuts that when you click on this, it's going to bring you to. So as you can see, we already have camera unlock in Google now. But if we edit this, we should be able to add two more off to the side. So let's say I want to add this one. You can pretty much just select what you want it to be. You can have it be an application, a bookmark, a direct style, a direct message, pretty much anything you want. And in system, we actually do get more stuff. So in status bar, you can actually sort of edit the clock and battery status styles as is brightness control. So you can also have brightness control. So when you click this, you can actually edit the brightness while touching the notification bar. And that's a pretty cool thing. You can edit AP, AM, PM style. Sorry, talking a little too fast. So if you want to have none, which is pretty much default, let's say you want small, it's going to show a little PM there. So that's always cool if, I don't know, you don't know whether it's AM or PM. But yeah, battery status style, you can have it a percentage or you can just hide it so that it won't really show the battery status. You can also have signal status style. So if you want it to be text, you can have uh, just your little signal strength uh, info up there or you can also hide it so that it doesn't show it either. But I like the icon and you can also show different notification count and I actually check that off because if you have multiple notifications, you can always check how many you have of the same notification. You can also edit your wallpaper, of course, but we're actually going to go into notification drawer. Now this is pretty much the drawer down here. As you can see, we have these four toggles up here, but I'll get to that in a second. So power widget, that is pretty much what we have now. So when you go on that, that's going to be gone. But once you do check that, you can actually edit some stuff and you can see it's going to be there. So close drawer on change. So what's going to happen there is, let's say we want to enable Bluetooth. It's actually going to close the drawer. Now normally that wouldn't happen as like this. Normally when I click it, it the drawer still stays there. But with that enabled, it would actually just sort of go away. 
You can actually hide the indicator so that it doesn't really show uh, which ones it is. So as you can see, it sort of has these little blue highlights down here. So if we um, press that, it's actually not going to show those. You can also hide the scroll bar. And I'm actually not really sure what that does, actually. Doesn't make really make a difference there. Haptic feedback, so you can pretty much turn that off for the notification bar. Or you can have it on or off or on the use global setting option. Widget buttons, these are pretty much all the different widget buttons that you can have. So right now we have Bluetooth, GPS, sound, and Wi-Fi. If you want to have more, you can always add more. And yeah, you got lots of different toggles that you can add, actually. That's pretty nice. And widget button order, so you can toggle the order of those buttons. And last but not least, you get font size. And for some reason, I keep on skipping the one ahead. We also have wallpaper. And the CM team has really put in a bunch of really cool wallpapers. Let me show you guys this. So you can see here we have sort of a blue background with Sid, uh, sort of a little symbols going on with Sid's face in the middle, and then we, we sort of have like a white version of that, and then just Sid like sort of sideways and stuff, that's pretty cool. And then we have some nice abstract ones right here, as you can see, they're both really nice and colorful, and I actually really like this one, it's called Early Corn, this one's really nice, what is this one? Oh, nice butterfly. This one's actually really been since CM9. I mean CM7, this one's been in the build since CM7, that's pretty cool. Looks like we got a little city there. And so does CM, Cyan, Cyan along the side and text, that's pretty cool as well. And you also have gallery options as you would in the normal stock ROM. Live wallpapers, no wallpaper, and wallpapers as the stock jelly bean wallpapers. Now in live wallpapers, you actually do get a bunch of live wallpapers, you get black hole, Bubbles, Hollow Spiral, Magic Smoke, Nexus, Face Beam, Spectrum, and Water. Now, Water usually isn't inc included in them because it was pretty much the first live wallpaper made, so it's really laggy, but, you know, if you just want to sort of have that old feeling, then that's always pretty nice. And that's pretty much it in system. Now, if we scroll down to Advanced, this is pretty much all the Galaxy Nexus settings. So you can edit the colors, the gamma, you can have different hacks or presets, and you can also edit the vibrator feedback tuning. So you can control the power of that vibration. And you actually do have profiles too. So you can have different presets of what you want. That's always a nice feature. And last but not least, you get performance. And this is pretty much CPU handling. You can edit the governors. You can have different management. And you can also have 16-bit transparency. So this is going to give you better graphic performance. But it may lower quality and may cause visual artifacts. And that actually does require a reboot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, CM feature wise. Now if you go home you can see it's just as fast as Jelly Bean. You don't really have to worry about anything slowing down. There's pretty much a completely stable nightly so far. There's definitely going to be more releases in the future. But yeah guys, this is CM Euroskank CM10 nightly. Pretty awesome. Uh, I really like it. It's really fast and you actually do get some CM apps also. So you get DSP Manager, Apollo, which is CM Team's music app. You get Super User, and what else is there? I know uh, you also get Terminal Emulator. And I'm I think ROM Manager came in pre-installed. I'm not sure. It might have been a backup restore from my Google account. I am not sure on that. But yeah, guys, this is CM10 on the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.